Trinity Biggs and welcome back to Fit Fierce Fun, the place where we bring the mind and the spirit to fitness so we can look our best and feel our best. Today we're going to be talking about self-care for those of you who have been neglecting yourselves, which a lot of us have. We've all been pretty traumatized and a lot of us have been neglecting ourselves and coping with that trauma, um, either with negative coping mechanisms or hopefully some positive ones as well. So this video is really for those of you who have been feeling kind of down, not taking care of yourself, and who really want to take back your power in your life, especially heading into the new year. So I just want you to know that if you have been neglecting yourself, if you haven't been taking care of yourself, I don't want you to beat yourself up about it. I don't want you to judge yourself. I want you to totally love and accept yourself. And with that self-acceptance and that self-love comes making a change. And now it's time for you to take care of you. So without any further ado, let's get into this video. But before we get started, don't forget to like this video. You know I gotta say it. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss my next video. And if you have not yet, please subscribe. Let's get into the first tip. Now, my very first tip for self-care is aromatherapy. Now, everybody loves the smell of a good candle, of course. There are lots of things to choose from. There are lots of pleasant candles you can get, go with the season, all that good stuff, right? And I'm all for candles. But what I really wanna focus on are essential oils. If you don't have essential oils in a diffuser yet, you need to have those things. I mean, essential oils have so many health benefits. Cedar wood is great for reducing anxiety and tension. Lavender is great for your reproductive system and your um, immune system. Eucalyptus is great for your immune system and your respiratory system. Things like lemongrass are also great for your immune and upper respiratory system, which we all need right now. We all need to be taking care of our immune system. We need to be taking care of ourselves from the inside out. And essential oils do just that. I mean, there are lots of essential oils that are great for the skin. If you're using products that don't have essential oils in them on top of your skin, um, you're really missing out because the health benefits of these essential oils are amazing. A lot of people don't know that a lot of the lotions, like over-the-counter stuff, are just filled with cheap fillers, uh, chemicals, really bad preservative and those things are really bad for your skin your skin is the biggest organ on your whole body everything you put on your skin enters the body so if you haven't start looking into more natural ingredients for your topical creams especially like lotions and body butters and things like that where you can get all the benefits of the essential oil in your daily routine Tea. and not to mention they smell amazing and things like peppermint and eucalyptus are going to put you in a soothe state of mind and you're just gonna feel amazing all around like I use this essential oil body butter right before I go to bed and I smell it all night and it puts me right to sleep it's absolutely amazing not to mention I always have my diffuser on and whatever it is I'm trying to do, like if I'm trying to relax, I'm gonna put some eucalyptus in there with some cedar wood. And if I wanna focus, I'll put rosemary in there because rosemary is actually great for brain power, memory recall, <laughs> great for memory recall. I obviously I need it right now. <laughs> rosemary is great for um, focus and memory recall, uh, great, great essential oil. So if you don't have essential oils in your life, you need to get them. They're gonna make your life much better, I promise you. My second tip for self-care for those of you who have been neglecting yourself is hygiene. Just simple, basic, personal hygiene. Now, we all do a pretty decent job of taking care of our personal hygiene, but you gotta take it to the next level. Like, what are you doing to take care of your personal hygiene? What are you using, like I said before, on your bodies? What kind of soaps are you using? What kind of lotions are you using? Um, what kind of toothpaste are you using? Are you using 
fluoride toothpaste still in 2021? Are you still using fluoride in your toothpaste? Don't do that. <laughs> fluoride is toxic and poisonous and um, you need to get yourself a nice fluoride free toothpaste. You need to really pay attention to the ingredients and the things that you're using, that you're putting into your body um, because there's a lot of crap out there. There's a lot of crap on the shelves in the store and those things are doing nothing but slowly hurting you. I almost says slowly killing you because it's kind of true, it's a little dramatic to say, but these things that we put in our body, they're not helping us live longer or they're not giving us vitality. They're not helping us fight aging. I mean, even though some of them claim they do. <laughs> you really need to pay attention to what you're putting into your body, whether that's on your skin or in your mouth. You really need to pay attention to it. Um, and just really put in a little bit extra effort into your daily hygienic routine. Your skincare routine needs to be top notch, <laughs> you know? And that doesn't mean buy a bunch of expensive products. That just means really pay attention to the ingredients you're using in your skincare routine and making sure you're tackling all the things you need to be tackling in your skincare routine, where, you know, that's anti-aging, um, um, trying to defeat acne, um, you know, cleansing, obviously moisturizing, night cream, eye cream, you know, you want to be taking care of your skin in every way, your serums, uh, your uh, BHA, your glycolic acid, you want to be exfoliating, you want to be exfoliating your body as, as well as your face. You want to be really taking care of yourself from top to bottom, you know, you know, get, make sure, making sure your hair and your nails are like clean and done and on point. Just invest a little bit more into your personal hygiene and I swear to God, you'll feel so much better. You'll just feel more confident and when you feel good because you look good, you look good because you feel good, kind of just feeds itself as a never ending cycle of goodness. So do yourself a favor and just upgrade your personal hygiene routine. What are you doing at bath time? Are you taking baths? Everybody knows baths are great. We all know this, especially now, right? When we've all been forced to like spend more time at home. <laughs> baths are amazing and they're so therapeutic. But what makes them therapeutic is what you're putting in your bath. Are you using like essential oils in your bath water, essential oil bath salts in your water, some flowers in your water, bath bombs in your water, like, do you have the best bath setup you can possibly have? That's what you need to ask yourself because bath time is everything. I mean, every time I take a bath, it is like three therapy sessions in one. I just come out like a new woman, especially with the bath salts I'm using right now. Oh my God. God, they blow like Dr. Teal. They used to love Dr. Teal. They blow Dr. Teal's out of the water. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> when I when I come out of that bath, I feel like a ton, like literally a ton has been lifted off my shoulders because I have just like detoxed the body. I've relaxed the body. All my muscles have been relaxed. You know, um, it's just, mm, it's magic is what it is. It's magic. So. What are, so make sure you're taking your baths very, very seriously. Are you taking your bath seriously? You need to be taking your bath seriously. You need to be taking a bath at least once a week. I take a bath at least once a week, sometimes twice a week, especially if I'm feeling extra stress. It just, showers are great. You can make a shower therapeutic as well, but there's nothing in this world quite like a nice, amazing bubble bath. No words. My next tip is going to be about music. The music that you listen to. Not only just when you are relaxing, but all of the time. Because a lot of stress and anxiety and depression and the chaos people feel inside of themselves, they don't realize that music is actually causing a lot of those issues. And let me explain. So, all music that is produced in today's world 
is in 440 hertz. Now hertz is just a measurement uh, of seconds. It's per, it means per second. So all music that you hear today on the radio and most artists who perform on instruments tune their instruments to 440 hertz. So a lot of music was actually 432 hertz before Joseph Goebbels, who was a by the way, um, he really led the uh, movement of making um, 440 the standardized um, tuning of all instruments. And then the US um, started implementing it and I believe the, the 40s or 50s. And that has been the standard since. But I was the one who uh, kind of said, let's all, let's put all music in 440 hertz. So take that and do what you will with it. But 440 hertz music has been known to cloud human intuition, cause chaos and anxiety inside the mind and subconscious and um, kind of turn people into zombies, basically, you know. Obviously not the brain eating kind of zombies, but kind of like the uh, I'm programmed and I can't think for myself kind of zombie. So, <laughs> just the thought. <laughs> so there's 440 hertz and then there's 432 hertz. Now 432 hertz is actually more in line with the universe. It's more in line with the properties of the universe like light, uh, time, space, matter, our DNA code and our consciousness it's in tune with uh, things like the Fibonacci sequence. I won't really dive into that. If you're interested in that, um, let me know. But um, basically what 432 Hertz is, it is connected with like the heartbeat of the earth. Um, it sounds kind of foo-foo, but it's actually physics. 432 hertz is, a more, is more harmonious with who we are. It's been shown to lower blood pressure and, and soothe and reduce anxiety, as well as been known to heal DNA. You could choose to believe that or not, but what I'm here to tell you is for music in 432 hertz is going to be more soothing and put you in more alignment and it's going to make you feel more calm and it's going to possibly heal your DNA and, and also heal any ailments you may have in your body as well. Um, <laughs> don't ask me exactly how, but it's because of sound is vibration and we are vibration. Everything is vibration and frequency. So what you listen to matters. And we know this because of sympathetic resonance. And what sympathetic resonance means is that um, our bodies basically um, pick up on the sounds that we hear and we become what we hear. We take on the properties of what we're listening to. So you know the phrase, you are what you eat? Well, that is true. And you also are what you listen to. So I will, Take this moment to really implore you to think about what it is you choose to listen to. What kind of music do you listen to? Is that what you want to be? Does that represent the properties you want within yourself? Because whatever you're listening to is what you're becoming. And it's happening at a subconscious level, whether you realize it or not. And music programs us and it can hypnotize us and totally program our minds and it could cause us to think certain ways to be certain ways to act certain ways it will induce behaviors if you don't know where some of your behaviors are coming from if you're doing things you're like why am i like this why do i do this why don't you think about the type of music that you choose to listen to and really evaluate if that's what you want to be or that's what you want in your life so I'm not gonna you know, preach to you. That's not what I'm here to do, I'm here to help you. But I'm just here to make you think, like you are becoming what you listen to. So you really need to be selective about what you allow into your subconscious because you ingest everything you hear, everything you see, just as much as everything you put on your body and everything you eat. So you need to ask yourself, what are you feeding your spirit, what are you feeding your subconscious mind? Because 
if it's not good, if it's chaotic, if it's negative, if it's dirty, if it's if it's anything negative, that's what you are going to become, whether you realize it or not. So <laughs> when you're listening to music, just be mindful of what it is and who it is that you're listening to. And when you're going to relax, if you're going to do something like take a bath or wind down or, um, you know, read a book, find music in 432 Hertz. If you're going to meditate, find music in 432 Hertz. It will make all the difference in the world. If you're having trouble with sleeping at night, put on music in 432 Hertz. You can find it on YouTube. It, it's amazing. Just give it a try and see how you feel. And let me know how you feel because I promise you, you're going to feel amazing once you start incorporating that into your life and you start maybe fading out some of the other stuff you may be listening to in your life. Just, just a thought. If you're not into that, if you think that's a bunch of foo-foo nonsense, which I would implore you to research it if you do believe that, um, then there's other options for you. You don't have to listen to music in 432 hertz. Listen to jazz. Listen to Tibetan bowls, which are going to be in 432 hertz for the most part. Um, listen to, um, I love lemongrass. I love, um, if, if lemongrass is... Uh, a, an artist and <laughs> not just an essential oil. I love that too. It's an amazing essential oil, but, um, and food. Oh, listen to lo-fi. Lo-fi is really great. Um, everybody listens to lo-fi. I love to have it on as well. Um, you know, listen to something that's, you know, not going to have lyrics in it so that you're not taking in a bunch of words and just listen to something that's going to let you ease and unwind and relax so my next tip for self-care is diet and exercise and this may be one of the most important tips that i have for you what you put into your body is extremely important it's going to dictate how you feel and how you operate if you're not feeding your body clean organic whole nutrient dense foods you're going to feel like crap no matter what you do. All of these tips are gonna be not as effective if you're not taking care of your body from the inside out. So you need to be exercising. Exercise is proven to reduce anxiety and depression. It produces endorphins in the brain and you, it, it literally just melts all my depression and anxiety away. Like, Exercise is key for me. Exercise is essential. Exercise is one of the most important things you can do in life. So if you're not exercising, it's time for you to start. If you don't know where to start, hire someone, find someone, get a program, find a way to get started and to create as little resistance as possible so that you actually follow through. Now, there's going to be a lot of habits that you're going to have to change. It's going to be a whole lifestyle change, but that's why you need a guide. You need to know how you're going to change the way you eat and the way you exercise or implement exercises if you've never done it. And it's going to be, you know, a, a process. You know, there's a whole world of things that need to be addressed from your environment to the food that you eat to um, your mindset, your habits, and setting yourself up for success. So exercise and nutrition are just a whole world of its own. I have plenty of videos on um, exercise and nutrition here, so feel free to check any of them out, especially my intuitive eating videos where I explain to you why I'm an intuitive eater and why I think everyone should be an intuitive eating and how I believe it's the only sustainable way of eating so that you can not only get results but keep them forever. Um, regardless, you need to be taking care of yourself inside out. You need to be making sure you're getting all the phytonutrients, micronutrients that your body needs to function and so that you feel good because when you eat good and you exercise, you feel good. And hey, you also look good. And what did I say before? When you look good, you feel good. When you feel good, you look good. It all comes together. 
So that is probably one of my most important tips I have for you. So my next tip is going to be ambiance. Basically your environment. You need to set up your environment for success, no matter what you're trying to accomplish. If you're trying to accomplish you know, self-care and relaxation, if you're trying to accomplish you know, your monetary goals, you know, or like your school goals, and if you're a student, if you're trying to accomplish fitness goals, no matter what you're trying to accomplish, if your environment is working against you, you will always be fighting against yourself and making it that much more difficult for you to accomplish your goals. So no matter what your goal is, whether it's fitness, self-care, school, business, running a business, you need to have your environment set up for success. So, creating an environment for the ambiance for success, or the ambiance for relaxation, um, it just takes, you know, it, it doesn't mean you have to have, you know, the best place in the world. It just means that it has to be clean and it has to have things in it that make you feel good, right? You gotta declutter. Clutter is not good for anyone. Clutter, clutter around you will clutter your mind. So get rid of junk. If you have junk around you, um, get rid of any eyesores if you can. Um, and just implement things into your life, like having fresh flowers and plants. I love having fresh flowers around. They just look beautiful. They smell beautiful. Um, they make me feel great every time I look at them. I love to have, you know, my crystals, my, my aromatherapy, um, my candles, my, my diffuser. Um, I just have to have everything just so, so that I feel good. Your environment is, you know, aesthetically pleasing and calming. It makes your routine that much more enjoyable. So if you're having a hard time sticking with, you know, your self-care routine or skincare routine, really look at your environment and see how's your environment set up. Like, do you, when you go into your bathroom, are you like, oh, I don't want to be in here? Like, do you have like a little desk where you have all your skincare products? Um, what is your environment doing? Is it setting you up for success or is it setting you up to say, ah, screw this? I'm just gonna put sweats on and go to bed. Next tip is setting boundaries. What? Yeah, setting boundaries is a part of self-care because all these tips that I am giving you will be useless if you can't set boundaries and stick with them. If you have people um, always trying to distract you or trying to you know, say, oh, you don't need that, oh, you don't need to work out, or, oh, you don't need to do that, or oh, you're too extra. Um, it's not good. <laughs> so setting boundaries with people and making sure that no one is coming in on your time when it's, when it's me time is important. Um, Setting boundaries is essential for life in general. I have a whole video on how to set boundaries and why they're so important. I'll link that here because it's not easy if you're not used to it. If you're used to just kind of being a doormat for people, it's really difficult to just turn that off. But it's a process and it takes practice. And it's going to be important for your mental health um, because when you don't set boundaries, you end up pretty resentful and um, doing things that you don't want to do, um, not being able to do the things that you do want to do, and having people in your life or around you that bring you down. And that is not self-care. That is not self-care at all. So check out my video on how to set boundaries and make that a part of your self-care routine because you're gonna need it. And my last tip for self-care is creating a routine. You gotta have routines in your life because that's the only way you're going to stick with them. This is about building habits and routines that um, you carry with you for life. So having your morning routine, having your evening routine are very important, especially your evening routine. That's how you get set up for the, you know, the next day. 
and it's, it's how you start the next day. You don't start the next day when you wake up, you start the next day, the night before. So your evening routine is really important. Having a schedule of, okay, I take a bath on this day, um, or um, I do this mask on this day, I do this face mask on this day. I mean, have your routine set up, you know, every night, have your routine. Every morning, have your routine. Even if it's just like, I uh, have a cup of tea and I uh, sit on the balcony or I have a cup of tea and I read a book. That's all part of a routine. Just build a routine that you love that works with you and who you are and self-care will come natural to you. It'll be automatic. You don't even have to think about it um, because they'll just be habits. So. That is all I have for you today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to hit the like button. It helps out a lot around here. And I hope to see you in the next video. And to do that, hit the notification bell. And uh, you're all so beautiful. I love you so much. Have a beautiful day. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.